Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my spring capsule wardrobe and I'm going to show you some spring outfits with the items. I am so excited for this video. I really love capsule wardrobe videos and styling videos in general, so I thought it would be fun to combine it together. I will say I do wear a lot of my clothes year round just through layering and things like that. I don't really even wear things that are that heavy in the winter because I want my wardrobe to be versatile, but I thought I would give some spring outfit ideas. Obviously depends on where you live it may not be spring at all or it may be really really warm or still pretty cold some of these outfits I would wear now some I may not be wearing until like May but I thought it'd be fun to do I do have a whole fashion and style playlist I will link that I've done a few other videos about capsule wardrobes and curating your wardrobe so check that out if you are interested and let's get into it What I'm gonna do is just show you the outfits, tell you about the pieces and kind of other ways that I would wear them as well. So first up, I'm wearing this beige cardigan with these camel pants and then those black and white striped t-shirt. The black and white striped t-shirt, I think, is a classic timeless piece but it's also a trend for spring but honestly i think it's really really classic and goes with so many different things um i did put on some platform shoes with this outfit because i will say these camel pants they're thrifted from express they're a little long so they work better with a bit of a heel but yeah i absolutely love this outfit um, i did do a recent thrift haul and i got a couple things even since then Pretty much this whole outfit is thrifted except for the shoes, they're Nine West platforms, but yeah. This black and white shirt, I absolutely love it. It's so cute, so comfortable. I love t-shirts. Overall, my style is pretty casual and I like to dress it up with accessories. And I love the combination of black with beige or brown. I really, really enjoy that. So I really like this outfit. So since this black and white striped t-shirt is a total classic for me, I'm gonna show you different ways that I would style it with some other pieces. So this next outfit, same black and white striped shirt, this time with a cream sweater cardigan, which I really, really like, and then black dress pants and then white loafers. I really love wearing dress pants in a casual way. I've mentioned that in other videos and this whole outfit is also thrifted except for the shoes. Um, those are by Zo Angiolino. I got them at DSW for only $20. They are real leather. They're really, really comfortable. I think I'm gonna be wearing these white loafers a lot. They're really cute, really comfortable, and I like them a lot. And again, I love combining black with other neutrals. I love wearing dress pants in a more casual way. That's definitely my preferred method. I really, I am a pants person. I will show you a skirt in this, but I, I don't wear skirts or dresses all that often. I may wear dresses a little bit more in the summer, but yeah, there aren't any dresses in this capsule wardrobe. I don't even own many dresses. I think I own three or four, but yeah, I just don't wear them all that often. Alrighty, here's another way I would wear the black and white striped shirt, this time with a gray cardigan, same black pants, this time with black shoes. Again, very neutral outfit. I really, really like this one, very comfortable. And again, I like black and gray and black and white and black and cream. It's just all of those combos are amazing for me and I am in love. As far as trends, I will say, I do like to look to see what the trends are and then if I like them, I will wear them, but if I don't, I definitely do not. But I did see that this burnt rose color is a trend for spring, and I found this t-shirt at Target, and I'm gonna show you a few outfits with it. I am in love. This color is so beautiful. This like burnt rose, it's so, so pretty. So the t-shirt is from Target. It's a ribbed t-shirt, really comfortable. So then I'm wearing it with a cream cardigan, jeans, my Gucci bag with this neutral color. I love this blush pink color and I gotta say it's perfect for spring. It's gonna go with a lot of outfits and the white loafers. I really, really like this outfit and this rose t-shirt, gonna be a staple for me. Again, I love t-shirts. I just like to be comfortable. That's really my number one priority and then looking more stylish is maybe my second priority, but comfort is number one. So as you will see here, that is a theme for me for sure. Alrighty, and then same outfit with the rose shirt, but this time I'm wearing a white button-up blouse over it. Kinda like the dress pants, I like to wear dress shirts in a more casual way, more open, kind of more like a cardigan. That's how I like it. The whole like button-up white shirt thing, I don't love it on myself so much because I feel like I look a little too business-like, a little too much like a politician. It's just not my preferred style, but I love button-up shirts 
open wearing them over an outfit more like a cardigan i really really like that over like a t-shirt or a tank top so you will see that theme again Alrighty, and i did include a skirt so this outfit is the same rose shirt denim skirt which is also thrifted and then a denim button-up shirt like i said same thing with the button-up shirts i like to wear them more as a cardigan over an outfit i don't usually wear button-up shirts just plain by themselves um, I love the denim on denim look. I really, really like that. And I think it's perfect for spring as well. Really, really like this outfit. The denim shirt I bought at Marshall's a long time ago. I kid you not, I think I got it seven or eight years ago. And I still wear it and I still love it. So yeah, I really like this outfit. I probably wouldn't wear a skirt just yet, maybe in May. But yeah, I'm really excited about the denim skirt. I wanted to get one. And I want to try to wear some skirts a little bit more. So I thought a denim on would match my style and it's really comfortable. Like I said, this was thrifted. This was a really good find. Another key piece is going to be for me, these gray joggers. I got these at Target. I really like them. They're really comfortable. I mean, they're basically like sweatpants, but they look a little bit nicer. I mean, they do have the drawstring. These are so comfortable. I really, really like them. And I think they're gonna go with a lot and it's an alternative to jeans. I've mentioned in a lot of videos, I am a jeans person all the way. That's what I like to wear. But once it's warmer, I admit wearing jeans, it's a little too hot. They're just, they're too warm, they're too thick. But this style of pant, I think still makes me comfortable because again, I do prefer pants. I just think it's a bit more flattering on my body type. So joggers, I think are gonna be way better for spring because they're thinner than denim. They are a more breathable type material. I just think it's gonna be more comfortable and I could style pretty much, I mean, I could wear any of these outfits with these joggers as well. So yeah, again, those are from Target. They're really, really comfortable. And then this tie-dye faded sweatshirt is also from Target. I buy a lot of stuff at Target or the thrift store. Those are kind of my go-tos as far as clothing. I really like this sweatshirt. It is so soft. Again, I like combining a more casual thing. I mean, I feel like these pants, I would not say that they're dressy pants, but I think the style of the pattern makes them look a little bit more dressy. So I like combining them with the sweatshirt. The white loafers, again, these are gonna be crucial. I'm so excited about those. Another key piece for me is gonna be this gray blazer. This I did buy at Neiman Marcus because I really couldn't find a gray blazer that I liked anywhere else. It was on major sale though. Some of the things that are available, I will link in the description box if you're interested. This is like a t-shirt material blazer. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. So I feel like, I mean, I could wear the gray blazer with any of the other outfits I showed. It's super comfortable, perfect for spring you know, when I don't need to wear a jacket anymore, um, I could just wear a blazer. That is often what I do. I don't really have a spring coat. I have heavy duty winter coats, but then in the spring, I usually just wear a blazer or a cardigan. I don't know, I get warm easily and I don't feel like there's a lot of weather where I live where I need a spring jacket. I either don't really need a jacket and I can wear a cardigan or I need my heavy duty winter coats. So yeah, I don't really have a spring coat. Maybe that's something I'll get at some point, but I just haven't really felt the need for it just because there aren't that many temperatures where I need a light jacket. Like I said, I either just wear a cardigan or a blazer or a full on winter jacket. So yeah, I love this gray blazer, wearing it with the same tie dye sweatshirt and the gray joggers. And yeah, I think it's really, really great. A black tank top for me is always gonna be crucial. I'm wearing one today underneath this shirt. So I really do like this outfit with the joggers, the black tank top, and then this gray like over cardigan thing. This I love, I've already worn this so many times. I thrifted that as well. It's so comfortable. And this for me is like a crucial piece that I would wear pretty much. I could wear this every day, winter, spring or summer. It's just really, really nice. It's not too thick that I think even when it's warmer, it's something I'm gonna wear especially, you know, at night, even in the spring and the summer, I mean, it definitely cools off and this adds a bit of warmth, but it's not very thick. So this type of piece for me is crucial and gray goes with everything. So I thought that was perfect. And last up, this green flowy shirt that I'm wearing today. I don't have a ton of flowy shirts like this. This one I really do like. I've had it for a long time. I think it's from Macy's. Again, I think I bought this like six years ago and I still wear it. I really love the color. I think green is really pretty for spring, although probably, you know, a year round color for sure. But this one I really like. 
with the joggers, I think it works. I'd wear it with jeans. I'd probably more likely wear this with the jeans, um, but I think it works with the joggers too. This is more of a sheer shirt, so I am wearing a black tank top underneath, but I love the flowy look of this shirt and it has these little ties on it. So yeah, this is one of the oldest pieces in my collection and I really love it. So those are some of my key pieces for spring. I do think since the weather can vary, I most likely would wear pants and then if I needed cardigans or blazers, I would add that. I'm very excited about these joggers though because I feel like those are also gonna be good for summer. I'm not a huge shorts person. I don't love wearing shorts, so I would I feel more comfortable in pants. I think this is gonna be a breathable material that I think I can hopefully wear in warmer weather as well so that I don't have to wear jeans because again, the, the jeans can get pretty warm, especially for me, I get warm very easily. Um, so that may not always be a great option for me, but the gray blazer will go with everything. The gray cardigan is gonna go with everything. A lot of these things too, like I said, I wear year round and I am thinking about doing a video about my capsule wardrobe, pretty much things that I wear year round that are super versatile because I don't have that many purely seasonal clothes. I don't have many things that are purely for hot weather and I don't have many things that are purely for really cold weather. I have a couple thicker sweaters that I would only wear in the winter, but really most of my sweaters are definitely on the thin side and um, a lot of my sweaters I would wear in the spring, winter, fall, just because I don't wanna have too many things that I can only wear in certain temperatures. I do much prefer my wardrobe to be, you know, very versatile for year round, which I think is one of the key things about a capsule wardrobe. The whole point is for it to be a more curated wardrobe that is really versatile. You can mix and match. You can wear things in different seasons. And I do feel like I have that. So again, these pieces are things I would wear throughout the year. But yeah, I thought this would be fun to do. Let us know what kind of things do you like to wear in the springtime when it's starting to warm up but it's not super hot again you know it'll depend on where you live let us know if you want to see more fashion and style videos check out my fashion and style playlist i have several other videos about capsule wardrobes and i did a recent thrift haul so that is it thank you so much for watching and have a great day